shit waving chicken little Chinese checkers. Daggum critters all over my house. I'm trying to record video. Just be barking, yipping, and yarring. Well, let me, let me regain my conscious effort to tell you, uh, I got a, I got a song for you because I heard that you, what you were learning is, before to buy, you had to know that it is Romans that you're learning. And I have a song, just out of the humility of my heart, I thought it would be best for you to have my knowledge so that you would be more learned. So, uh, I digress. Um, this is a song, I, it's called Romans. <clears throat> well, Paul, he was chosen by God to be the great explainer of the gospel to the world, and he sure had his hands full. He wrote a letter and some would say it, it was his most complete one to the Romans in Italy. Now they call it Romans. And he said, everybody, everybody, everybody needs a gospel. Everybody, everybody, everybody needs a gospel. Everybody, everybody, everybody needs a gospel. So you better tell them, you better tell them the gospel. Why even bother with the Jews if they're the same as all us? He said it's cause they paved the way so we could have sweet Jesus. What about circumcised man that they called Abraham? He simply said it was his faith that saved him. Oh, not the mark of any man. But one more thing I just don't get is how Jesus died for so many. Paul just said it's not our fault that we are so sinning. But just as Adam brought all this sin, he was only one guy. Jesus reversed it. If you just accept it, I'll tell you it's worth the try. Well, you can call, and all right, I can sin just as much as I please. Paul said you can't live for both. Oh, no, by no means. So why the law, oh, why is Paul, it seems to be a hindrance. Well, if you didn't know you couldn't, then you wouldn't love so much, and you might think you could make it. And he said, everybody, everybody, everybody needs a gospel. Everybody, everybody, everybody needs a gospel. Everybody, everybody, everybody needs a gospel. So you better tell them, you better tell them the gospel. He told us about a brand new life in the dwelling of the Spirit. It's nice to know it's all good and we can't be separated. Upon this side was the stubborn Jews and why they just couldn't believe it. He went on to explain unity and how we're lost without it. My most horrible, least favorite part is when he talks about society. Oh, you know, everybody's even still got a baby and do it. They say, fuck the map, get don't speed and go to work, go to school and work, 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 and just go down and obey them. You said, don't matter what you eat as long as you support each other. And did I mention unity? Oh, yes, very important. Well, that's about all he had to say, and I hope you understand it. Cause if you don't, there's a good chance you won't get into heaven. Oh, I'm just kidding, it's pretty simple, but we make it complicated. So we can have a school of biblical studies and be complicated for Jesus. Everybody, everybody, everybody needs the gospel. Everybody, everybody, everybody needs the gospel. So you better tell them. You better tell them. The gospel. Hey, uh.
Nah, I've, I've all had to say about that, y'all. Enjoy Romans. <laughs>